Please do it for the fear to Jesus the Divine Word. In the name of the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, Divine Word made flesh. From the beginning you already were, before even time began. You are Son with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man, became man yourself. Through God, the Holy Spirit, and Mary, He became Jesus, divine Word made flesh. He came to our world to save us and show us how to live in love here, so we may live in love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine Word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. And prayer we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and Holy Spirit. In love and service, may we like us come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name, we pray now, always and always. Amen. Greetings of peace and joy to all of you, brothers and sisters. And to those of you who join us in worship through this live stream at the, the UC Sun Shrine of Jesus, the Divine Word, in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today, today is Friday of the 38th week in Ordinary Time. We pray for the following intentions of this Mass and for those prayer requests placed in our Shrine's Facebook page. Things giving offered by Rosario Gigo, Florelera Bautista Noble, Banji Abenes, Gabriel Family, Lagaras Family, Diego Family, Elisan Family, Tomas Talavera Family, Artemio Talavera, Calexto Season and Family, Siena Marie Season. Maria Claire Ann Doque, Juana Gabriel Dumpit, Dumpit Family, Torrentino Junior Robbie Rafael Abbey, Bong Tatat Hana, Mr. and Mrs. Jerskin and Gian Castro, jo Jonel F. Bayuman, Nunita D. De Leon and Family, Jefferson De Leon, Sabon Station Extravesa, George Molano, Helen and John Gabriel, Ayel Gar Garcia, Metrobank Northern Samar, Loang Ravis, Conian Family, Divino Bursano, Gillian Nitalo. For the special intention of Hunsai Cesar Paul, Hunsai Venus Johoni, Hunsai Elise Margaret, Hunsai Ian Dominic, Jonathan and Susan Chang and Family, AP Mora Builders Incorporated, Janice Jaragusa Dato, Amanda Yap, Baby Briones, Banji Abenes, Pilagia Miranda, Martina and Aldrich Gabriel, Tomas Ochoa, Talavera and Fernandez Family, Siena Marie Season, Carl Samuel Season, Juana Gabriel Dompet, Dompet Family, Florentino Junior Robe Rafael Abbe, Bong Tatat Hana, Jerskin Castro, Kunanan Castro Bontugan, Gonzalan Family, Zuebe and B. Bayuman, Ispayos Family, Nunita De Leon and Family, Jefferson De Leon, Sabon Station Extra Besa, George Molano, Helen and John Gabriel, Natalie Ann Valdez De, Leonardo Tabuso, Jocelyn Ala Tabuso, Duna Tamayo, Ward 55 Touch Nurses, Riyadh, Saudi Arabia. 
Jwebe Andi Bayun. For the healing of Jerry Martinez, Flora Tayolan, Nimpa Piscador, Ian Cabusao, John Aldrich Gabriel, Boy and Frenzel Avelia, Avicilia and Family, Edmar Campbell, Caroline Tiu, Chip Talavera Tanglao, Calixto Season and Family, Rich L. Tobias, Courtney Nasi Faulin Dilaba, Boching Cora, Mary Christine Morales, Chai De Leon, Benvenido Gabriel Jr., Corita Estrada Ala, Maria Sharon Delphine de la Cruz, Ronaldo Torres, Antonio, for the source of Antonio, Carmen, Edward, Dolores, Anita, Rene, Carlin, Lolit, Nina, and Pippin, Jose, Remedios, Roberto Jr., Carlos, Constancia, Cosme, Candelaria, Apolonia, Rosalina, Yetilde, Juan, Ninfa, Juanito, Donald, Francis, and Cecil, Pericles, Edwiges, Lorenzo Jr., Teresita, Mariano, Carlito, Pekin, Themistocles, Jesusa, Roberto Sr., Arturo Sr., Los, Jose, Año, Pilocque, Benjamin, Teresa, Hilton, Helion, Edgar, Averhard, Arturo, Rosinda, Ramon, Alfred, Anilis. No relatives who have passed at the family of Thomas, Ochoa, Talavera, and Fernandez family. Angelita, Antonio, Emerson, Jose, Anisha, Angelis, Rosita, Andres, Mr. Francisco Jr., Mariano, Manolito, Herman, Estevio Jr., Henry, Nelson, Virgilio Sr., Rodolfo Sr., Dimitria, Santiago Sr., Jacinta, Rick, Raul, Bobby, Marino, Alfonso, Edgar, Mercedes, Ray, Connie, Juan, Flori, Apolonia, Eugenia, Damasa, Federico, Alicia, Raimundo, Pastora, Solito, Kerina, Teodorico Sr., Rosario, Pablo, Teodorico Jr., Masyon, Emmanuel, Adelio, Mercedes, Ray, Connie, Juan, Flore, Apolonia, Eugenia, Damasa, Edwin, Lelia, <coughs> Ernesto, Delia, Chua, Antonio, Mark, Arcila, Bernardo, Eduardo, Rivelina, Esteban, Clarita, Placido, Damasa, Erlinda, Antonio, Maribel, Jacob, Luis, Antonio, Lorita, Yutequero, Milagros, Lourdes, Constantina, and all souls in purgatory.
Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Benigno Beltran SPD, Associate Priest of the Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word. Our Eucharistic celebration will now begin. Please rise. <laughs> Jesus Christ and the love of God, the communion, the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit, my sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins to prepare ourselves to celebrate sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness, Lord of mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you bring pardon, peace to the sinner, Christ of mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise the dead to life in the spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity. Make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our reading from the beginning of the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Paul and Timothy, a slave of Christ Jesus, to all the holy ones in Christ Jesus who are in Philippi, with the bishop and deacons. Grace to you and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God at every remembrance of you, praying always with joy in my every prayer for all of you, because of your partnership of the gospel from the first day until now. I am confident of this, that the one who began a good work in you will continue to complete it until the day of Christ Jesus. It is right that I should think this way about all of you because I hold you in my heart. You are all partners with me in grace, both in my imprisonment and in defense and confirmation of the gospel. For God is my witness. How I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer that your love may increase ever more and more in knowledge and every kind of perception to discern what is of value so that you may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ for the glory and praise of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. How great are the works of the Lord. How great are the works of the Lord. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart in the company and assembly of the just. Great are the works of the Lord, exquisite in all their delights. How great are the works of the Lord. 
majesty and glory are his work, and his justice endures forever. He has won renown for his wondrous deeds. Gracious and merciful is the Lord. How great are the works of the Lord. He has given food to those who fear him. He will forever be mindful of his covenant. He has made known to his people the power of his works, giving them the inheritance of the nations. How great are the works of the Lord. Please rise to honor the Holy Gospel. According to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, o Lord. On the Sabbath, Jesus went to dine the home of one of the leading Pharisees. And the people there were observing him carefully. In front of him, there was a man suffering from dropsy. Jesus spoke to the scholars of the law and Pharisees in reply, asking, Is it lawful to cure? on the Sabbath or not. But he kept silent. So he took the man, and after he had healed him, dismissed him. Then he said to them, Who among you, if your son or ox falls into a cistern, would not immediately pull him out on the Sabbath day? But they were unable to answer his questions. This is the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Institution, charism. There is always the ten tension between these two when a large group of people live and work together. Institution, charism. When the Jewish people are set free from slavery to the Egyptians, went to the promised land and established the monarchy, King David. The priest also established their institution, rules and regulations, especially in the liturgy. So there was the law, thou shalt keep holy the Lord's day. So they made a lot of rules. First, just an example, you could not do more than a thousand steps. Maski sa loob ng bahay mo. Pag sumubra ka ng one thousand steps in the whole of the Sabbath, makasalanan ka na. Kaya lang, nandadaya din sila for their own benefit. Magkapit bahay tatalian nila. So, isa na lang daw na bahaya. Ay kahit pabalik-balik silang ganyan, hindi na binibilang dahil sa loob ng bahay, hindi ibilang yung isang libong steps. Ganun ang nangyari ng pumunta si Sinunod ni Jesus yung charism ng mga prophets. nag i giving life to rules and regulations which we also need. In the life of the church, ganun din. St. Peter, institution. The office. St. Paul, the charism. So sa charism ni St. Paul, mas mabilis ang pagkalat ng simbahan. Through the history of the church. May mga monks, pupuntayan doon, may innovate 
ng bagong spirituality. Saint Benedict, nag-inubig, nagtayo ng mga monastery, ang daming nasave ng mga manuscripts. Yung mga monks, sila ang unang industrial farmers. Nag-i-innovate din, may irrigation, may mga bago. Pagkatapos, nung ang institution halos na-fossilized na, dumating si St. Francis of Assisi. Dumating si St. Thomas o Bakwainas nag i sa theology. Dumating din si St. Dominic at iba pang mga saints. So, there is always the tension between rules and regulations and innovation in all aspects of society. Sa government. Ang government, mahahirap mag-innovate dyan. Susundin ka nila. Article 5, Section 2 of uh, mga ganyan. Implementing Rules and Regulation of Republic Act. Pagkatapos, hindi inakakarating sa mga tao. Kailangan natin ngayon ng innovators. Sa simbahan, may nag-innovate si Pope John 23rd. Sabi niya, Sarado naman lahat yung mga bintana sa simbahan. Buksan natin para may fresh air. Nag-innovate. Nag-second Vatican Council. Kaya tayo ngayon hindi inalatin. Kaya nakaharap ako sa inyo ngayon. Ang daming pagbabago na innovate ng second Vatican Council. Hanggang ngayon, yung mahilig sa rules and regulation, nagagalit pa rin yan kay Pope Francis. Gaya ng Ibanghelya. Hindi naman sinabi ni Jesus na mali iyang to keep holy di Sabbath. Ang sabi lang niya, ang tao mas mahalaga kaysa Sabbath. Kaya, yung a few days ago, yung woman na nakuba na, pinagaling ni Jesus, nagalit din ang mga parisis kasi sila rules and regulation. Ngayon marami ding tao sa simbahan, rules and regulation, pag sinabi ni Pope Francis, o yung mga karapatan ng mga gay, sa gobyerno na yan. Kasi, hindi rin naman sinabi ni, si, ni Pope Francis na pwede nang mag Hindi niya sinabi yan, mga, pwede nang mag ang mga gay. Marriage is only for man and woman. Kasi procreation ang will ng God. So you have to deal with that. Hindi binabago yan. Hindi rin sinasabi ni Pope Francis na hindi na mali yung homosexual acts. Rules and regulation din yan. Kagaya ni Jesus, hindi rin sinabi na wag niyo nang pakabanalin ang sabah. So manalangin tayo ngayon that there will be more people like Pope Francis in the church, especially among the lay, na mag-innovate. Paano ang simbahan marating yung mga bata? Hindi na nakikinig sa mga pare yan dahil busy-busy mag-tiktok at saka mag-mobile legends. Kailangan nating mag-innovate. Andiyan pa rin ang rules and regulation, pero pag walang innovation, patay yan, magiging fossil yan, parang mga bato na yan na hindi na buhay, hindi na nakakapaglingkod sa mga tao. So ngayon, may ALS, nag innovate kami, dahil yung DepEd, rules and regulation din yan eh, e biglang nagka-pandemic, eh hindi nila alam ko anong gagawin. So sa Sandiwaan Center for Learning, nag-innovate kami. Allow us to train 200 teachers ng ALS. Yan yung mga pinabahe, nasa laylayan ng lipunan. Ang ngayon yung mga bata, tinrain din dahil ang teachers nakakagawa ng digital modules. Yung may mga animations, may mga link sa YouTube, pwedeng lagyan ng TikTok kung tama doon sa lesson. Ang dami nga yung mga innovation na yung mga bata sa tundo, sa slum areas ng tundo, nag-aaral on their own. 
may learning management system, binigyan sila ng username and password, nakakapasok sila doon. Eh, hindi kami nahihirapan sa lockdown, the learning goes on. At nung isang araw, biglang nag-integrate ang Amazon.com, si Alexa, at itong learning management system namin, tuwang-tuwa yung mga bata kasi andyan yung cellphone nila. So sabihin, Alexa, open Neo LMS. Tapos kakausapin sila ng artificial intelligence. Innovation. Sample lang po yan. Hindi na natin pakahabaan. Babalik tayo doon sa tension ng institution at saka ng karisim. Yung institution, rules and regulation, yung karisim, innovation. Lalo na ngayon, in this time of paradigm shifts na mayroon ng artificial intelligence, robotics, black chain technology, Internet of Things. Kailangan ng mga innovators na magamit yan sa simbahan, sa gobyerno, sa DepEd para maging inculturated tayo adjournamento ang sabi ni Pope John 23rd noong Second Vatican Council. Adjournamento. Yung ara, yung tumapat ka sa araw, tumapat ka sa panahon. Kung anong panahon, eh, yung mga teachers sa DepEd, pinipilit na ang mga bata, kapariho pa rin nung 50 years ago, nung sila ang elementary at high school. Panalangin natin na yung mga pare, lalo na mga malay sa simbahan, will be able to balance the tension between institution, rules and regulations, and charism, innovation, so that the more abundant life that Christ promised us, In John chapter ten, verse ten, will be achieved. I have come that they might have life and have it more abundantly. Prayers to be faithful, my sisters and brothers. Let's pray to God, our Father, who has called us as His sons and daughters to become free in His Son, Jesus Christ. Let our response be: May we render You praise for all Your graces, O Lord. May we render You praise for all Your graces, O Lord. That the Christians may regard the commandments of God as doors to freedom from sin and evil. Let us pray to the Lord. May we render your praise for all your graces, O Lord. That we may never put low above people, but practice first the great commandment of loving one another. Let us pray to the Lord. May we render your praise for all your graces, O Lord. That we may remain healthy and strong to weather this ordeal, physically, emotionally, psychologically, and spiritually. May we all be protected from contract the virus and giving in to fear and panic. Let us pray to the Lord. May we render your praise for all your graces, O Lord. That we may have the true spirit of charity in dealing with the poor and the oppressed, and that we may see Christ in them. Let us pray to the Lord. May we render your praise for all your graces, O Lord. That the sick and those in the hospitals may be healed of their infirmities, let us pray to the Lord. May we render your praise for all your graces, O Lord. That the dead may now rest in the company of God, let us pray to the Lord. May we render your praise for all your graces, O Lord. Lord God, let every command of yours be to us an invitation to love and to serve our brothers and sisters, to understand and to respect, to guide and be guided. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Portray your goodness to have this bread to offer, which earth has given, and human hands have made, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness you have this wine to offer, fruit of divine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look, we pray, O Lord, and the offerings we make to Your Majesty, that whatever is done, done by us in Your service may be directed above all to your glory, to Christ our Lord. Amen. Um. The Lord will be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift, lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right and just. just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created the human being, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him to Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exultation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, Jesus took bread and giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, Jesus took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from me, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, bread of life and the chalice of eternal salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world 
bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis of Pope, Onesto of Bishop, and all the members of your one holy Catholic and Apostolic Church. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, health of the sick, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray for the coming of God's kingdom in the words Jesus, the divine word himself, taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ, peace. Peace be with you, peace, peace, peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. This is the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Because of the love of the Father, He was sent to become a human being like us to save us from our sins. Happy are those who accept this invitation to eat at His table. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself fully to you. Never permit me to be separated with you. Amen. Do not let your hearts be 
sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in signs, we may one day possess in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Oratio Imperata. God, our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people us to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they minister to the sick with confidence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to be healed soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace of this trying time to work for the good of all and help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, help of the sick, pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calongsud, pray for us. Saints Arnold Jensen and Joseph Bernadimich, pray for us. Please be seated for some announcement. Our online Mass is scheduled for our dearly departed our follows. October 31, Saturday, 6, 6, 20 a.m. 8 a.m. with the Garden of the Divine Word. 4 p.m. with the Garden of the Divine Word. 6, Sunday Vigil at Anticipated Mass. November 1, Sunday. Solemnity of All Saints, 7 a.m. with the Garden of the Divine Word, 8 a.m., 10 a.m., 4 p.m., 6 p.m. with the Garden of the Divine Word. November 2, the commemoration of all the faithful departed, 6.20 a.m., 8 a.m. with the Garden of the Divine Word, 6 p.m. You, you can write the names of your dearly departed in the envelopes available at the back of shrine 
for our online mass attendees, you may submit your mass intentions via Bitly Shrine Intentions. Thank you and may God bless you all, always. The Lord be with you. And with, and your, with spirit. your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Um, the Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve Jesus, the Divine Word. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. And Joseph, Pray for us. our Lady of the Most Holy Rosary, Pray for us. in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.